Okay, YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I've got a Royce the 5'9 album review for you guys, and this is Success is Certain. Now, up to not too long ago, this was his most recent album, and it had, you know, Royce is always someone who was kind of in the field of Eminem. They're both from Michigan, and the big thing about it was, was he had released a string of albums, some of which I've reviewed, but... He's kind of a rapper that you may not remember off the bat, but once you do, it kind of is refreshing because the, the songs are kind of secretive and in a way they don't, they may not hit you immediately, but they're good songs. So when I reviewed uh, his Rock City album back in September, I disliked it, but it's starting to grow on me. And I think that's going to be the case with this album. Royce, usually he does not pick intense and pulse-pounding beats right off the bat. But they're kind of, I mean, Tech 9 is another person that does this sort of thing. But once you're used to them, it starts to flesh out better. But this album in particular was big because he was getting ready to drop the Bad Meets Evil album with Eminem. And this act... And that album actually came out before this one, which came out in August of 2011. And so Royce had a big year, as did Eminem, both of which, you know, Shady Records had a variety of releases that came about between Yellow Wolf, Slaughterhouse, Royce the Five Nine, and the rest of these folks. It, there was actually some big noise that went on. And so Roy started making noise in early 2011. Eminem was making noise also. And they came out with the song Writer's Block. Now this is probably the most popular song on this album. But it's not necessarily the best. Eminem is only on the hook. And it just, it sounds like a frightening song. I mean that's really the, the, the idea that I got from it. I wasn't expecting it for the most part. This really, I don't see it charting. It did wind up charting, but the approach that this album took in the production just was not exactly, you know, user friendly. And, but, it, you know, it's a, it's a pretty horrific song. I mean, him kind of doing almost like a take on horrorcore is something grand. But he also offered two other singles, one of which was second place, and I didn't prefer that song, but the other one was Legendary. And this one sounds like a rock song, almost, and it says it features Travis Barker on there, but thing is, is it's got, it's got a pretty, I mean, it kind of sounds like a Guns N' Roses song, but I do like the guitar riff on the song, so... That one is another. So Royce is, for me, he's two out of three of the radio songs are good to go. I'd probably say, I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult trying to figure out where to go with that just because a rap rock song, I mean, he just did some new things. You know, the rap rock variation of that. The rap rock variation, even though it was a bit strange, I still feel like it probably was a winner but just because I've been talking about like the 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 effects of this album does not necessarily mean it's an entire hit because out of 12 songs I really only liked five and we're going to talk about a few of these moments so the five songs that you need to hear are Writer's Block, I've Been Up, ER, Legendary, and I'm Fresh now I'm going to talk about some of the other songs. ER and I've Been Up have some of the best beats on here. You know, Royce, like I was saying, if you listen to this entire thing, he doesn't really have a ton of guests, just Eminem and Joe Budden and a couple, like a few other folks I don't know that well. And yeah, there's not a ton of guests and the the production is, you know, like I said, it takes some getting used to, but it's not exactly stellar either i mean obviously there's folks like like there's folks like rick ross and these sorts of folks that manage to it's 
Sometimes Yellow Wolf, who managed to get some hot beats on there, but this is something that does need work. I'm hoping that his 2016 album does this. Uh, but I'm Fresh is kind of one of my favorites, just because I like the idea of kind of an introduced song. I mean, Royce the Five Nine is not exactly a friendly character to radio airplay. I think he's pretty much... I mean, he has a song called Second Place, and really what I'm thinking is is that, you know, it's going to be a hard, you're going to be hard pressed to really hear him on most radio stations. But, you know, a few introductory songs is kind of like Cut Calhoun and Big Scoob and some of these folks. You know, he's best when he's kind of showing you what he's about because, you know, some of these other songs. You know, if if he doesn't really have a standard list of his most popular songs, we could use some of those. And it feels like I'm Fresh and Writer's Block are a couple of those. Legendary kind of is, but it's hard, you know, considering him legendary when he doesn't really have a classic album or, you know, more than eight classic songs. So, but, you know, that's kind of... The thing so this album is going to get a four out of ten you know me liking five out of twelve it's not exactly a winning concoction and i think for the most part two out of three singles works but i i'm not you know entirely captivated by these singles so that's the other thing i'll admit that they're okay but they're not outstanding so it's kind of he i mean he still has yet to truly win me over as what well, as far as getting me super excited i mean i'll admit that he's passable but as far as like you know addictive it's not i just don't see that in him yet even with eminem helping which this is the second song that eminem has only appeared on the hook on i mean really i know that that would have been the favorite song had he dropped a verse but i think we could really use these type people so i would recommend going for rock city first but then if you, this is probably the second best album, you know, first one had Twista and a couple other people, but this one has, you know, another Eminem hook and probably a bit better production. So, Social Score I will give a four also, just because it did have three singles, but uh, it just is tough because... It doesn't have like that monstrous song that it needs. I mean, Roy still needs his best known song and that shows. But can this record be topped? Yes, obviously. And the future, Royce dropped an album in 2016.